morning folks how are you all doing today i <laughs> i'm going i was going to go for a walk and stuff you know started the day with a um, morning walk and everything as usual my routine but then you know a little change of plans like i'm going out with one of my friends to a bit distant place you know like uh, i think another part of the city so he's actually trying to pick up milk like fresh milk there is one place you can find fresh cow cow milk and stuff like uh one place of the city so we're going to go there sort of like a morning adventure drive so yeah so i thought like you know since i'm waiting for him let's do a review right so i hope everyone is doing so well okay so actually like i wanted to do i got few fragrances and i was thinking which one to review today like i was not really sure which one on a review so i had like with me like i did uh for this i already did so something similar to hugo boss bottle i wanted to do the dolce and gabbana you know the puram this one of the classics right then i'm like you know maybe a bit later i'll do this is actually gem of a scent all right even though reformulated and all still pretty good so i still have this in my uh, you know lineup to review so maybe the next one will be this so then another one i had in mind also as very close to reviewing was gucci guilty black this is one of my favorite fragrances i gifted this to my dad so i borrowed it so maybe i'll review this sometime also but then you know in the morning you know it's like a cold morning and it's like not really that cold but it's like winter a bit chilling and stuff so i'm like what would be a good fragrance that i would like to wear in the morning so i looked in my collection and then i think like this fragrance you know i i want to talk about this one as you can see from title the black excess from the house of pakoraban so i'm going to review this right as i'm waiting for my friend so as i'm going to do that i had my breakfast and i'm having some sprite so kind of like you know mood for that sort of fruity affair so that's the sort of fragrance this is okay so this fragrance particular fragrance is a call pakoraban black excess this is a 2005 like back in the days it's like 2005's baby right so this was like uh, when it came out it was very popular and even still selling today i think it's not discontinued it's still in the store all right so this is one of the like if you like sweet fruity kind of fragrance this is that sort of fragrance and it's ideal for this kind of winter you know like fun kind of a scent right so the fragrance is classified as sweet warm spicy all right and then the bottle i have with me with uh, in my collection is 50 ml i didn't feel like i need to get like 100 ml of this just wanted to get a bottle of pakora van black excess just the, for my collection and then this bottle actually this fragrance 2005 back in the days you know like this was our i remember my friends used to have this in their rotation i didn't own this my friend my one of my best friends he used to own this and he would go liberal with this you know i think in the classes and wherever he used to go he used to go put this on so yeah this one may be a tribute to my friend all right so the perfume for this is olivia crisp and then rosendo matteo i hope i got that right so there are two uh, fragrance uh, like perfume for this fragrance another thing is just interesting i think this one some of you know some of you don't this fragrance olivier crest the uh, perfume he also created i think dolce and gabbana light blue for women as well as the versace uh meno fresh so basically this fragrance is very much close to those two other fragrances while those two others like i'll put them down in the description box those two are more like a summer fragrance and then this one is a bit more like cool weather fragrance all right but basically the similarities are there if you don't know all three three fragrances belong to the same you know work of a same man all right so i'll tell you a little bit more in as i go all right so basically house of pakoraban i was uh, you know like very interested when i started collecting i was very interested because i started off just like others you know loving sweet fragrances which i still do like sweet fragrances are the best you know like uh, it really cheers you up it's a crowd pleaser it's 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 safer fragrance you know people tend to like sweet people around you know while they're smelling sweet and stuff so basically pakoraban does that more or less their newer fragrances are all sweet and on the sweeter side you know it's like higher side of the sweet you know so they are more like a clubbing night out going out that kind of a scent so in my collection i have four pakorabans i have the pakoraban uh, puram i have the invictus i have uh, 1 million and i have this and then there is also excess which i really want to get excess is more like a your uh, i think platinum egoist that sort of a green sort of a uh, cooling himalaya that kind of a fragrance it's a bit more different that is not that sweet right as well as this one that called ultraviolet for men 
the one that you can back in the days to come like the you can you have to spray from here you know like the purple juice i was looking for that fragrance i used to own that my friend used to like he gave it to me i used to own that it's very solid fragrance ultraviolet for men all right and then you know there are a few other fragrances so basically apakoraman's house it's a mass selling house like their fragrances sell all over the world very very they're popular and then their fragrances are more uh like i think towards the younger generation you know, like younger people one million invictus that sort of a clubbing and energized scent so basically yeah this one is not more that kind of a clubbing scent but this is sweet scent all right so the sweet uh the what you call the highlight of their fragrance is sweet so that that signature is evident in this fragrance so this fragrance also has a lot of flankers of black excess you know i have a few like the potion they also have the la le aphrodisiac something this l before that and le lexus le l excess something like that the recent one that one is really really like good performer as well and then i think the black excess also have a female counterpart okay there's one black excess for women all right so basically i'm going to be talking about the men's today all right <laughs> so the prices are around 50 to 80 us dollars you can find discounted i think now because it's been a while since 2005 it's now 11 years so you can get pretty much discounted so you can look for you know deals online here and there but look for reliable sources okay so let me show you the presentation i really like the presentation of this this is kind of cool presentation all right so here's the box as i told you i have a 50 ml bottle it says black excess very nicely there's a rose there and the, i like the font it's pretty badass it's like a it hurt is love and luck tattoo that sort of a feel all right paco raban pretty kick ass pretty young youthful vibe and then pretty uh gothic sort of if you imagine like back in the days you know sabrina the teenage witch you know that sort of tv serial and then you know people do black magic like back in the days children so that sort of feel 50 ml edt on the top nothing much at the side it's all black box at the back you have some information okay and then bottom some more okay there goes the box i really like this bottle but one sad thing about this bottle actually i damaged the bottle a little bit here as you can see the writing came off a little bit i didn't i was not aware of this fact because uh I kept this in my pocket I used, because these are smaller bottles I tend to carry them around me it's easier to carry because you know you can reapply and stuff this is not a very strong fragrance you need to reapply every now and then so <clears throat> I kept this in my pocket and then I put some keys so basically they rubbed against each other or something so the writing came off pretty sad about that because you know I pretty much love my bottles I like to care about my bottles anyway so sorry about that okay so you can see black excess and there's the, the same pattern as the box follow the same pattern and then Paco Rabanne, okay so the bottle is black but you can see through it if you put it against the light my juice level is pretty much here I almost finished the bottle because I use this lot all right so yeah you can see through the juice level if you you know you can see actually you can see my finger as well so yeah it's, it's not non-see-through and the bottom you know you get your I think yeah it's uh, not a sticker I think it's printed on it so you get your information below back nothing much and then it opens from like a zippo lighter this is pretty unique same like the excess bottle all right i think it opens from this side yeah sorry it looks like a lighter you know like you'll be like zippo lighter and then the flame would come up pretty cool sometimes you know you think like this will come on the way for spraying yeah a little bit inconvenient i guess they're trying to make sure you don't lose your cap i haven't seen that many people to lose a cap size like this but anyway pretty cool and unique you can smell the fragrance pretty nice all right so kind of cool presentation and the uh, you know it's like a kind of slim so the 100 ml bottle just go down longer here so looks nice you know kind of cool presentation i give them 8 out of 10 for this fragrance presentation all right so the notes in this okay so the notes in this are prominent notes of citrus citrus fruity notes sage a little bit of chocolate and then the woody and then the woody is more like a brazilian rosewood or amber wood something like that so basically this is as i told you is a sweet warm spicy this is a like a very fruity sort of affair they didn't officially enlist the notes like the fruity notes the fruity notes there is very nice note of a sort of industrial kind of a strawberry and very pleasant pineapple so if you are a fan of pineapple fruitiness that sort of a thing look into this and if you like versace is mano fresh and then dolce and gabbana light blue for women you know like this because they're very close to each other you know just a little bit twist here and there to make this 
different name and different company because you know they come out with Versace, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue so different companies so I get you know like uh, okay let me show you the spare why not okay so I haven't used this in a while but today I thought in the morning you know I'm going out let's wear something light and not so complicated right so the spray is quite nice it gives like a very nice mist you know it, it's soft you know comes at you very nicely very very opening is very pleasant you know you get the strawberry note you know like a fruity chocolate if, if you can imagine not so much of original authentic strawberry maybe that one you pluck from the garden but you get that chocolate you know if you imagine like a strawberry chocolate you know you can eat the chocolate and you get like taste of strawberry strawberry chocolate that sort of feel I get not authentic strawberry very sweet opening you get a little bit of uh, the orange blossom like orange blossom it's more like orange or like a bergamot that's of a uh, citrus notes up top also very pleasing nothing heavy and very um how to say uh, inviting and you know fun scent you know it's very loving lovable scent okay so you get a little bit of sage and then as i mentioned the chocolate it comes maybe on a bit dry down it gets a bit more chocolatey but opening is very fruity up top and then uh it's very uh i think this one will make great fragrance for indoor usage like if you're staying indoors and you want to put something that's not very strong or you don't want to choke people if you want to go for maybe class or just hang out with your younger folks like you know in your university days this can be your signature scent for university days even though it has some age on it but if you're a fragrant like a fan of a sweet fragrance that sort of a thing and but you don't like choking people out like invictus or one million or lamal ultramal this one is a great sweet night out fragrance if i'm not quite sure it will make a very great clubbing scent because it won't last that much this one the life strength you know like sense strength on this is like uh, weak to moderate that sort of thing you it, you get like two to three hours max with this as far as i know because i think this one is a bit reformulated and i don't know even if before reformulation i never got strong performance out of this so basically yeah your age suits i think it goes for young people this is great for younger people they will like this more because this is not that complicated you this doesn't have the incense and that sort of a raisin myrrh and that sort of a darker notes so this one would be perfect for younger generation so school kids you can college and the thing is any age can actually pull this off but just you know uh, age appropriate wise i was talk talking like uh, maybe elder people they want to look a little bit more darker even though this is a dark but it's more based on sweet and fruity notes all right so season for this i think this is great for fall autumn and cooler weather this one if it has to last it has to last in the cooler weather if you wear this on the heat it, it's literally gone in 15 to 20 minutes very very frank opinion because it's i i used on my skin i know i live in a hotter country so i know but i still wear it a lot so basically yeah cooler seasons perfect okay and night time not maybe daytime maybe night time is nicer okay then the compliment wise this one is very well liked by women i got good compliments from this it's it's when i'm in the car and then people are sitting with me around the car and the, the ac is on you know people can smell it it, it moves around and it's like the silage would be like uh how to say three to four feet away from you so it'll be a nice bubble around you opening one hour is very kind of strong more stronger but the dry down is a bit more closer to the skin so you can smell it yeah and then it is perfect i think the application wise you put it somewhere on your neck yeah this one yeah so basically your blood is flowing a little bit you know it will warm you up a little bit once in a while and the you know air it will like pass around it will take it to the next other people put some on the shirt would be great so i think five to six sprays you go with this would be nice all right so uh compliment wise good all right so longevity and projection is a bit weak okay i'm telling you this is uh, yeah maybe can close to moderate but not more than moderate all right so longevity i give this like a i have to be honest i have to give this like four out of ten okay uh projection i'll give this uh maybe five let's say five okay so compliment wise pretty good this one compliment wise ladies love this kind of fragrance this one ladies can wear like your lady can she will like i have seen my friends lady friends they stole my <laughs> like sprays from this they'll be like yeah i can wear this this is a ladies perfume it's more like a ladies like a sweet that sort of fruity affair it, it's not that manly it's more like a metrosexual that sort of a sweet scent all right so yeah compliment wise nine nine yeah nine out of ten not bad then the versatility is kind of poor because in the hotter countries i mean i i 
<laughs> funny enough i'm saying this hotter country i am living in hotter country but then yeah i love this scent so much i bought this for even you know i live more in the air conditioned room so yeah if the cooler weather yeah you can pull this off so versatility let's say it's a six all right so overall mark for this i'm gonna give it's a around i think probably will go let me think mm, i'm not quite sure i haven't prepared a mark for this i'm just giving for the time being like how i'm feeling for the smell and everything considering i'll give this seven out of ten you know like because the smell is so nice it's that the sweet you know like the dry down you get a little bit of uh wood seed dry down nothing serious nothing heavy very pleasant dies down slowly so for casual usage night outs you know for dates also younger folks you know you're on a budget and stuff you can look into this so one of the sweet fragrances which is not very loud and the last thing i want to say the comparison to versace's uh Mano fresh that one is a bit more lemony that one doesn't have pineapple note on this this one has a pineapple and a strawberry you try it on your skin and give it a shot you know like you see if it may work for you you if you just like the sweetness but the tender sweetness all right black excess and compared to the DJ Dolce & Gabbana, the light blue for women, the dry down, they're more like same, but then the the type of fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana light blue, that one also, the one thing they have all in common, they're very poor in performance, okay? So, yeah, so if, you, if your longevity is not an issue and you like looking for something soft, something romantic, something sweet, you know, like a young, happy kind of fragrance, look into Black Excess, one of my favorite fragrances. As you can see, my juice level is here, so you can see if I, I didn't like it, I wouldn't wear it that much. So yeah, uh, nice, decent fragrance. So yeah, I hope you g try it, you know, maybe you can try the flankers also. If you don't like this, the Le Lexus, L Lexus, that one is a bit more like amped up version of your, this fragrance right here. That one has more pineapple to that. All right. So basically you can give it a try to the other flankers also. Okay. So that's what for the review of this fragrance maybe uh, after i come back if i feel like maybe i'll review one more of those three bottles just now i showed you so you guys take care until now i hope you enjoy the review have a nice day good night